Hi gang, today I'm taking a look at the Lone Wolf Adventure Game from our friends at Cubicle 7 Entertainment. If you're not familiar with Lone Wolf, if you recall, gosh, back in the 80s, there was uh, a genre of books that would come out and they were create your own adventures. Well, Joe Deaver and his Lone Wolf series pretty much created that entire genre. And I had a chance to actually chat with Joe. He was a guest of Cubicle 7 at Gen Con. And uh, what a really nice guy. And there are about 24 books, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone in the comments will correct me. But uh, at last count, there's about 24. There's more books on the way. Plus, there's even a best-selling app for Lone Wolf that's out there, too. But we're taking a look at the adventure game, which is a role-playing game. It's really focused on getting new players into the hobby, although there's plenty here for people who have a lot of experience with role-playing games as well. It's written by Joe Deaver himself and part of the crew at Cubicle 7. It's a box set, pretty heavy box, not real thick but it is a pretty heavy box here. So it says, get ready for the greatest adventure of your life. It's for ages 12 and up. And of course it's a role playing game. So you need at least two people to play unlike the create your own adventure books. So let's take a look to see what we've got when we take everything outside the box. Put that off to the side. One thing I was aware of Actually, taking a look at the inside of the box top, and I'll explain what this is in just a moment. We've got, read this first. So you better read this first. My understanding is with uh, Cubicle 7's Lone Wolf Adventure game, you'll be able to play right out of the box. So when you start getting into it, I believe this uh, here is just kind of a, a rundown of the game itself, kind of telling you what's in the box, what is a narrator, what do you need to play, and then the rules in a nutshell. In Lone Wolf, you're going to play Kai Lords, who are these warrior monks who uh, battle the forces of darkness, I guess we would say. Looks like we've got some pre-generated characters already. Bright Shield. Tells you an action chart. Disciplines, weapons, what's in his backpack. His combat skill, endurance. Kind of talks a little bit about his combat skill, notes. And then there is a character sheet right there. So that's the first of the pre-gens. Let's see what else we got. Got another pre-gen here. Once again, kind of just going through this character as well. Then we've got Night Fox. Another pre-gen. Moonblade. There's quite a few pre-generated characters in here. Storm Sparrow. Kind of get a kick out of how each of these pre-gens says, why would you want to play? Why play Storm Sparrow? So it kind of gives you an idea of what uh, sort of gameplay that character is uh, focused toward. All right, we're trying to get this last one out here. True Song. All right, so we've got some male and female pre-generated characters as well. And then there are three different books. We've got the Book of Kai Legends, which I believe is going to be kind of a player's guide. Let's take a look. Kind of gives you a breakdown of the characters how to create 
the characters. Yep. Introduction. Your adventure starts here. Bit of a map. Some pretty cool artwork inside. How to use the book. And I believe this actually has a couple of adventures right in this first book here. So we've got an adventure right off the bat, and it looks as if one person would be the narrator, you know, the, the game master, and uh, it's kind of walking them through the process. You're going to learn the rules as you play. That's one of the big things about Lone Wolf is that you're supposed to be able to just pick up this book, start running an adventure, and as the adventure continues along, you're going to learn all the different rule systems. Or I should say, the rule systems that you need to play kind of a basic game. Using tracking, using animal kinship. Kind of setting the scenes. So we see we've got scene five. I'm just flipping through here. How to describe an exciting combat. That is a skill that many game masters need, that is for sure. All right, and then it looks like we've got a second adventure here, Onward Till Morning. Just flipping through. So this would be the first book that you're going to crack open here. Whoops. Just kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Just giving you an idea. And it looks like there's some adventure nuggets in here as well. So that is the Book of Kai Legends. So that gets you started. Then there is the Book of Kai Wisdom. Which I think this is the GM book. And it kind of goes into... Yeah, so this is, this is going to go much more detailed into the rules, being the narrator, tests. Now that's what this box top is, is in the create your own adventure genre of books, in those lone wolf books, you would have to find a way to randomly generate a number to see if you were successful or not. This kind of feeds off of that. I believe there's some tokens in here, and you'll flip them into the box top to get your number. Of course, you can use dice as well, but I just thought that was kind of funny how they've included that as well. But going back through... Some bonuses, skill tests, Kai disciplines, combat... As I had mentioned, this is really aimed at getting, getting people who are interested in role-playing, giving them a, a place where they can check it out. Uh, the price point of the box set, which is not out yet, the PDF is available, but the price point for the box set is going to be $29.99. So $30 bucks to get started in role-playing game is not too costly, that is for sure. It looks like we've got a bit of a bestiary in here, too. So, just kind of give you an idea, and it's talking about the land as well. And then the Book of Kai Training, if I can pop this on out without damaging the box. Ah, a little ad for Doctor Who. Role-playing game, Adventures in Time and Space, and The One Ring. Those are Cubicle 7's two really popular systems that are out there. Looks like we've got a combat results table, how to resolve basic combat, an equipment list to kind of give folks an idea, and a map as well. Anyway, back to the Book of Kai training. I believe this is more advanced rules. Let's, let's take a look. This is where... 
Ah, uh, no. Looks like this is actually the player's book. Because it's really going into depth about who are Kylords. It's an introduction, creating your own character. So this, no doubt, is actually the first book. Yeah, but it was third in the box. Oh, well, that's okay. Kind of going through, get, talking about the setting, creating your character. Different skills, equipment. Using ferocious in combat. Yes, always be ferocious in combat. Okay, so that is the Book of Kai Training. And then let's pop out the last items in here. Well, look at that. We've got another box for you to randomly generate your numbers. Looks like we've got some character sheets. Six of those. And then some tokens. And as I mentioned, I'm, I'm taking a guess maybe... Whoops, these or these are the tokens that you're going to toss into the box. I believe there's also something known as Kai Favor. Kind of uh, think of them like as fate points or points the players can use to, to better a result or avoid uh, failure possibly. And I think these are those tokens that players will get. These are probably the tokens that the players get to toss into the box. And maybe these are the tokens that the narrator will toss into the box. So that is what we've got when we take everything outside the box for Lone Wolf, the adventure game from Cubicle 7 Entertainment. By all means, if you want to learn more about Lone Wolf or any of the other really awesome RPGs that Cubicle 7 has, swing over to their website. As I mentioned, Lone Wolf isn't out in stores yet. This was the big Gen Con release, so they did have some copies they had brought over from England, but we should be seeing it in stores very, very shortly. Once again, this is Jeff McAleer. By all means, to get uh, the latest in geek news and reviews, swing over to thegaminggang.com. And until my next video, thanks for watching.